In this series, The World's Most Dangerous Snakes, I expand on an idea first introduced by wildlife presenter Nigel Marvin, as I count down what I believe to be the 10 most dangerous snakes in the world. We look at four rating factors. Number one, venom toxicity. Two, proximity to people. Three, personality. And four, a special category known as the X Factor. Each snake is given a score out of 10 for each category. The scores are then combined to reach a total out of 40 and the snakes are rated based on that overall score. Guys, welcome to this week's video where we're counting down the world's deadliest snakes. And we've got to a really special, beautiful snake, the Spectacled Cobra, also known as the Indian Cobra, the Naya Naya, or the Naja Naja. Absolutely spectacular snake. In fact, it's so good looking. It's got an ass like an onion. It's gonna make you cry. And look at it there, hooding up. It's a beautiful spectacle cobra all the way from India and Sri Lanka. Absolutely spectacular snake. Super quick, a leopards. Super quick. But let's get right into our comparison and why I say this is number nine of the most dangerous snakes in the world. Before we start, just come around over here at the camera. Have a look at the back of this hood. Isn't that the most glorious hood you've ever seen in your life? And that's the spectacled marking over there. That's the marking that makes this Cobra so famous. I'm filming this with an Aussie right here. He's behind the camera at the moment. And he had called it a Cobra. The spectacled Cobra. Look at the snake. Isn't it magnificent? So let's get right into it. Our first determining factor is the toxicity of venom. And like most cobra species, the spectacle cobra has a potent, potent neurotoxic venom. Far more potent than most other cobra species out there. Way more toxic, in fact, than something like a king cobra. Really toxic venom. And when it comes to venom, it's a neurotoxin, which means it stops the messages going from your brain to the rest of your bodies. Cuts those, those impulses that going down, hitting that synapse. So you end up dying of asphyxiation. That's when your diaphragm gets paralyzed. But they're really cool snakes. Super hectic neurotoxins. And if you know anything about me, you've been following us for a while. Highly, highly allergic to neurotoxic cobra venom. So I'm being very gentle. I'm just letting it come through my hands. The reason I'm doing that, look at this. The snake's actually shedding its skin. So it's got pieces of skin coming off here. So I'm just helping it shed its skin. The spectacle cobra. And in fact, when it comes to venom toxicity, this snake kills more people in India than any other. More bites and envenomations from the spectacle cobra than any other of the three big deadly snakes of India. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? So when it comes to venom toxicity, I'm going to give this highly developed leopard a big whopping 8 out of 10. Our next distinguishing factor is the proximity that this snake comes to human beings. And that's where living in India, oh look at that, as I touch it here, hood's right up there, defensive move. It might swing around at me, I don't want it swinging around. You just relax right there. There you go. No, 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 no. You just hold your ground. What cobras love doing is actually just holding their ground like that. You have to be super, super careful though. Let me just hold him over here. Skin still coming off, look at that. But when it comes to proximity of humans, it lives in one of the most populated countries in the world, India. And because of that, it comes into conflict with a lot of people. And I've already said, bites more people in India than any other venomous snake. Absolutely prolific when it comes to proximity of humans. It eats rats, loves rodents. And what happens is come into houses to get away or to, to catch rodents. And that's in, obviously where people live. And as the population of India and Sri Lanka expands, goes more into the, the forested areas around there, sugarcane fields, tea plantations, that's the home to the spectacle cobra. And what people will do is they'll stand on the snake. Sometimes cobras love operating at night. They're nocturnal largely. They'll come into people's homes, looking for a rodent, end up in someone's bed. And what will happen is a people come, they'll lie in bed, brush up against the snake, and all you need, boom, one touch like that, snake bites onto them and the people die. And this snake will kill you within about two to four hours. 
really bad. So when it comes to proximity of human beings, I'm gonna give it a rocketing seven. Seven out of 10. So we've got an eight for Venom, we've got a seven for proximity. And then our third kind of category is that of personality. And that's unfortunately where the spectacle cobra loses some ground on some of the other snakes. Can you see how calm it is? Look at that, completely chilled out. I've never handled this individual species before, or this individual snake, let me put it that way. And I can pick it up like this, calm down, it's showing us a hood, but not once has it been aggressive. Hasn't opened up its mouth, hasn't tried to bite, look at that. It should be really, really grumpy, but look at that. As in India, as calm as a Hindu cow, completely chilled out, relaxed. As calm as an Eskimo in the middle of Iceland just at its natural place very relaxed snake hasn't tried to bite me once they can be quite jumpy they move quickly but they're very chilled out protective snakes we go you're trying to prove me wrong no you're not look at you just holding his ground there he's not coming at me hasn't tried to bite he's just saying dingo look how big and beautiful i am you are beautiful look at that and what i'm going to show you while we're up here let me just pretend this is a flute for a second this is what you see. I went to India in 1999 and I saw snake charmers. And a snake charmer, unfortunately, it's a, it's a really a harsh kind of job or vocation for snakes. And they'd put these snakes in a little a wicker basket. And then what would happen is they'd open the basket, often defanged snakes, where people cut off their fangs or take out their venom glands and the snakes die within a month of that happening, but they would just replace them with others. And what they would do, they would go like this in front of the snake and then they'll go like this, playing a little flute. Look how the snake goes. And the snake starts, oh, a little strike there. The snake starts dancing. And what people think is that the snake is dancing to the music. But as you can see, I'm not very good at my flute. The snake's still dancing. The reason for that, the snakes are completely deaf to airborne sounds. So the snake can't hear me talking now. You can feel that vibration on the floor. Can't hear my voice here, unless I'm really close on it and thundering down. But what it's doing, got super eyesight these snakes it's following my movement so a snake charmer moves like this oh look at that look at that spectacle cobra he's dancing and this one because it's shedding its skin its eyesight's not very good now it's very opaque when it sheds its skin it'll seem even better it'll move even more it'll move all the way from here all the way to there and the snake charmer does this and people are amazed he's controlling the snake he's not controlling the snake at all but when it comes to personality we give the spectacle cobra only a six our last factor is the X factor and this is where I have to give the spectacle cobra some points the snake that kills more people in India than any other snake and for that reason and they get quite big up to 1.8 meters or so I'm gonna give the snake another six which brings our total tally for the spectacle cobra to a healthy 27 out of 40 And that puts the Spectacle Cobra number nine on my list of the world's most dangerous snakes. Thanks for joining us. Join us next time when we look at the number eight on our list. We'll see you then. Dingo out. <laughs>